K plus so Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Started with Leo this week. We're in Leo season. We're coming up on the new moon in Leo on Thursday, July 28th. Knight of Wands, Caballo de Bastos. Three of Wands, Tres de Bastos. Page of Pentacles, so did they Oros. Queen of Swords, Reina de Espadas. Page of Swords, so did they Espadas. Five of Wands, Cico de Bastos. So I definitely see a relationship. I've said that. I've said this. I've said that. I've said this. Sagittarius, Scorpio, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I've been saying it a lot lately. I'm seeing a lot of relationships because whenever I see two signifiers together like that, so we have these two signifiers in the first row, Knight of Wands, Queen of Swords, I see a relationship. And this is really specific. Well, it's not that specific. It's common. But uh, what I'm seeing is two adults who could be single parents. So you could be, you could be a single parent and maybe you're in love with someone who's also a single parent. The fire dominates three out of six fire. Could be a bit of an age gap. You could be a few years older or younger, uh, but this is very energetic. I'm seeing a lot of sex. A lot of lust. You have a lot of fun. You make each other laugh. This is a very invigorating, stimulating relationship. It's not just sex, your friends. You truly enjoy each other's company. That's what I'm getting. Please provide an energetic summation for Capricorn, three additional cards. Three of Pentacles, the world, Nine of Pentacles. You give each other space. You're not clingy. You're not codependent. You have your own friends. You have your own lives. You have your own households. Again, I'm seeing two single parents. That'll resonate or it won't, but um, you have a lot of respect for each other, and there is love here that you're not chomping at the bit to move in together. Could be long distance. You could be in different cities, different states, different countries, different continents. But I'm seeing a lot of sex. So if you're not together in person, there could be a lot of sexting. A lot of communication because this does not read to me like something that is casual or um, non-committal. I feel like this is a committed relationship and you're on the same page, you want the same thing, but you're not talking just to talk. When you talk, you have these deep conversations. You could have a lot of sexual conversations, sexual exchanges, pictures, videos, whatever. Um, but you're not crowding each other that's what I'm getting. Six more cards for Capricorn. Ten of Swords. Six of Wands. Ace of Wands. The Devil. Six of Cups. Queen of Cups. And this could be someone that you were with before and it didn't work out for whatever reason, bad timing, just whatever, it didn't work years ago and then you reconnected, you got back together. Maybe recently you reconnected and you're aware of the mistakes you made before and you don't wanna repeat those mistakes. Maybe before, um, you just made each other your world and it was codependent. But now 
you're older and wiser and you're giving each other space. Two sixes in the middle, six is Venus. So yeah, with the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands, I feel like there was a definite ending, but you've gotten back together and you're two mature adults now. And you feel this deep connection and there's a very strong sexual attraction, but you're not desperate. Um, you're not clinging to each other. It could turn into something eventually where you do move in together, where you do get married, but there's absolutely no rush. You're taking a measured, balanced, sane approach is what I'm getting for Capricorn. So that's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that helps in some way. I am always available for private and depth personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. Sending you all love and light from San Antonio, Texas.